to my channel. This is I do movie reviews. My name is Ons Brinker, and today I'm going to review the latest horror thriller film, Firestarter. This movie is based on a novel by Stephen King, and this is a second adaptation of Firestarter because there's one in 1984 that stars Drew Barrymore. This movie is directed by Keith Thomas and stars Zac Efron. Andy McGee, played by Zac Efron, develops psychic powers and meets the love of his life. Together they have a daughter with a power of her own, and the shop will stop at nothing to get them back. Now honestly, do you guys know that Firestarter is getting a remake? The 1984 Firestarter film is getting a remake? I honestly didn't even know this movie existed. Because I was looking at the cinemas, looking what's showing, and I just noticed that this movie is out. And I'm like, they remake that movie? Okay. I'm going to see this movie blind. I haven't seen any of the trailers. I didn't know Zac Efron is in this film. I didn't know what this film's going to be. I just went to this film very, very blind. And I think there's no wonder no one has been talking about this film. Because Firestarter, my god, what a mess. Now, yes, there are a couple of positives. I would say the acting was fine. Zac Efron in this film, he really tries in this film. But he looks like he didn't want to be in this film. I think the only character that actually really did try in the film is the main girl in this film. She did a good job in emotional elements. She is very convincing in the film and she's just a child actress. I think she does a great job in this film. I think her character was actually pretty good in the film. Her acting was fine in the film. But, ugh, man, this film is an hour and 30 minutes that felt like two hours long and this film is such a bore fest. The story in this movie inconsistency is just not interesting, especially that the plot, this girl, can't control fire. That is already interesting enough. But somehow in this movie, Keith Thomas just somehow makes this film so forgettable, so boring, and it just looks like it's very low budgeted because it's a film that looks like it just hasn't been released in cinemas. It looks like a movie that could have been released in like one of those sci-fi channel things. Because the acting all around and the story and consistency is just so forgettable and boring. And you can really tell there are some moments in Firestarter where you feel like they just don't know what to do with it. There is a scene in this movie where one of the bad guys recruit this dude. Saying, oh, we need to stop them and all that stuff. We need to get them. And the guy's like, oh yeah, I know what to do. Seriously, that guy that said that hasn't returned in this movie. Yeah. That bad. That is terrible storytelling. That is a terrible screenplay. This movie made me so mad walking out. I was literally walking out of this movie going, no wonder I never noticed this movie. Because I would never notice this movie, like, throughout the rest of the year. I would say Firestarter is one of the most forgettable movies that I have seen in 2022. Guys, overall, please skip this movie. Firestarter is definitely one of the worst movies that I have seen in 2022. This movie was boring. The acting was pretty dull, except for the little girl in the film. The effects are just fine in the film, but nothing spectacular or anything. But this movie is just mostly a bored fest from start to finish. And that's a movie that I would call a very big miss opportunity. This film could have been so much better than it actually is. But just the story, the way this film is, it's just a dull mess that I feel like a lot of people won't remember. I am going to give Firestarter a D. So guys, that is my review for Firestarter. Let me know what you think of this film in the comments below. Do you like this film, hate this film, or you thought it's okay? And what is your favourite Stephen King novel? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. Keep contact with me. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if I for my latest movie reviews and other movie related content. And have a nice day.